Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan with the Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services for their smartphones. Now here with me today I have an HTC One M9 that happens to be from AT&T here in the US. And this one, as we can take a peek at the screen here, has actually been factory reset because it is at the welcome or the setup screen. As we proceed through the steps here, we're going to come to eventually to a screen here that says that the phone was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the Google account that was previously on the same phone. It's a security feature that was implemented by Google in Android, starting with version 5.1, to kind of act as an anti-fraud, uh, anti-theft measure for when devices are lost or stolen. So it's very similar to Apple's iCloud lock, if you're at all familiar with that, because you have to enter in the exact same account that was on the phone previously, in order to be able to get back in. The lock is enabled when you reset the phone without first removing that account, so it then guarantees that only the original account can get back in. But people are getting scammed left and right by being sold phones by dishonest sellers who aren't telling them about the phone's true status and that it has that lock enabled. Or I've also even been contacted by plenty of people who accidentally locked themselves out of their own phone and then didn't remember the Google account lock or their Google account information to get past that lock and back in. But where I'm taking this is that my business offers a service to be able to remove the lock from the phone, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here to this one. So I've already done most of the steps that I didn't show on video. I'm going to go ahead and do one last one here, and then we will be able to get into the settings. So from the settings now, we are able to actually get past that lock. I'm going to go ahead and do the last step here real quick, and then we are going to restart the phone, and then we'll be able to see that the lock is then off that, and we can proceed through normally to the home screen. Just give it a few seconds here to do its reboot thing. Coming back up now. All right, so now it's coming back up to that same welcome start screen that we saw before, but like I said, this time we'll be able to advance through the steps. So past Wi-Fi, and then we're now to a screen that we didn't see before. It's, ta it's talking to us about copying over data from an old device. So we are indeed past that lock. We'll just keep going through the steps here to make sure that we can actually get all the way to the home screen. See, now we can see that the phone is asking us to add our own Google account instead of asking for the one that it had previously. I'm going to skip through the rest of the last items here and then show you that home screen pops up after that and uh, so many steps <laughs> all right there we go now we are finally at the home screen and the phone is now able to be used as normal just as well as before so if you have an AT&T HTC One M9 or even if it's from another carrier and has the Google account lock on it and would like to get it removed, get in contact with me. All the details for contacting me will be right in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of this video that has everything on it also. Make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel as I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones and I'm sure you'll find some down there that interests you. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes no deben contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.